Uh, All I know is I want today's video to include toothpicks, tinfoil, shaved crickets, and bald eagles with ointment and nude cranky old men. You got that for us? <laughs> well, it is an Akshay video. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid fix. So, Corbin, it's gonna have every one of those things. Fall Saints Scrum, Twitter for juicy content. Like, stupid Fall Saints Scrum, and it also I lied. It's not an Akshay video. Oh, <laughs> I got excited. I was looking forward to water. Um, no, no Akshay Vitter, Akshay Vitter, Akshay Vitter, Akshay Vigor. I I know why his past couple films haven't done so well. Why? Bring the water back. I agree. Bring the water back. Uh, I guess the next film we're seeing in theaters will be PS. Two, I think. I would fun venture fact. to say that's probably fun. True. Angry fact. Uh oh. You know that film uh, with VJ Sadapathy, right? The one that we wanted yeah, yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, they've now added some shows, but down where we in in, in, in Lugu. where we saw the other Malayalam film. Yeah. But it's only Telugu dub. Oh, good grief! <laughs> My God, what the fuck? <sighs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Ugh. Makes me so mad. Uh, anyways, today we got a video. This is the how the world's tallest statue in India was built. So the world's tallest oh, statue. We've seen a video comparing the tallest mm -hmm. statue. This is in the obviously world. the tallest. And this is how it was actually built. This was built purely on the kinetic energy that has been exuded over the years. Of Indian patriotism. Of SRK's arm spread. Probably. It's the combined amalgamated energy that produced the statue. Probably. And made it hard. Here we go. 182 meters tall and decorated with 12,000 uniquely crafted bronze panels, India's 50-story Statue of Unity is a triumph of aesthetics and engineering. And get this, it's made from melted-down old farm equipment. How did they do it? Can it really withstand earthquakes? And how will its appearance change over the coming decades? Join us today as we look up the and ask detail. how the world's tallest statue was built. There that was a great more shot. subjects for the world's tallest statue than Iron Man. No, not that Iron Man. Indian statesman and independence activist Vallabhai Patel is nicknamed the Iron Man of India for his incredible nation-building work. Uniting all 562 independent princely states on the subcontinent after the British abruptly peaced out mm. in the 1940s. The statue was commissioned to celebrate Patel's monumental achievement. And to underline the fact it's for all Indians, farmers from all across the nation Patel helped create sent in their old unused scrap iron. Oh, that's wow. Awesome. A million farmers are said to have participated, yielding 129 tons of That's scrap really cool. Today, That's fantastic. Down, forms the foundation of that's the statue. Really the cool. statue itself I love stands that. at 182 meters tall. And that's no accident. 182 was chosen because that's the number of seats on the Gujarat nice. legislature. It's constructed on a river island near where Patel grew up, facing the mighty Namada Dam. That dam, like so much else in modern India, was also partly his idea. Celebrated Indian sculptor Ram V. Sutta, distinguished winner of the Padma Bhushan Award for service to his country, was chosen to lead the design team. He'd already made a statue of Patel, the one currently residing at Ahmedabad International Airport. Sutar reportedly combed through thousands of photographs and consulted many historians in order to achieve the perfect likeness for his masterpiece. Then he made models, first three feet high, then 18 feet, wow. then 30 feet. The finished clay model underwent meticulous 3D scanning, with the model used as a reference for Chinese casting company Zhangqi Tongqing Metal Handicrafts, where the bronze outer layer was manufactured. Funding for the project came from a variety of sources, mostly the Gujarat government, but also private donations and even a fun run marathon. In total, it's estimated the cost amounted to almost 400 million US dollars. New York firm Michael Graves Architecture and Design was hired to oversee the project, along with the Singapore based Meinhardy Group and Indian infrastructure giant Larson and Tubra. Some 4,076 laborers worked alongside 250 engineers for 57 months on the project. Work began 
began in earnest when Narendra Modi, then Premier of Gujarat, now Prime Minister, laid the foundation on the 31st of October 2013, what would have been Patel's 138th birthday. The hill upon which the statue stands was flattened, from 70 metres to just 55 metres, wow. in order that the foundations could be laid. Of the many thorny engineering problems that had to be overcome, the most striking related to the statue's so-called slenderness ratio. What that uh. basically means is that tall structures should ideally be more slender at the top than right, at the bottom. Right. Seems obvious, right? right. Ranvi Sutal's sculpture of Vallabhai Patel, however, is clearly narrower at the base. At Moreover, least on the outside. The statue's thrusting progressive stance meant those dainty sandaled feet are some 6.5 meters apart. Engineers decided the best way to solve this problem was to create two separate concrete cores. The same kind of core you'd have seen a hundred times on skyscraper construction sites. Between them, these cores incorporate around 210,000 cubic meters of cement and concrete, 6,500 tons of structural steel, and 18,500 tons of reinforced steel. Working in Gujarat's hot climate created challenges for the concrete pool team, who needed to use an assortment of chiller systems to keep the all-important cores wow. at the of the concrete. So I'm guessing they made those even. panels out and brought them in, in each core for ferrying sculpted them up to the observation gallery, where up to 200 delighted sightseers can gaze out over the Narmada Dam and hundreds of acres wow. of manicured grounds through strategically concealed rips in Patel's dhoti. Further up the cores are twin 250-ton tuned mass dampers. Why? The area is occasionally prone to earthquakes. Thanks to those dampers, the structure can withstand Move. quakes of up to 6.5 on the Richter scale to a depth of 10 kilometers and a radius of 12 kilometers away. Cantilevered out from those mighty concrete cores is a steel space frame designed on CAD software. Onto this frame, the bronze-clad panels transported by sea from China were bolted on. If you're thinking the panels don't entirely seem to line up, that's actually deliberate. Why? The panels are designed to overlap slightly so they can move about in high winds, up to yeah. 180 I figured it was the winds, yeah and prevent the transmission of stress throughout the structure. The skin alone, by the way, weighs over 2,000 tons, and each panel is unique, <clears throat> requiring a clever tagging and numbering system to avoid confusion and delay on site. Wow. The building phase took 33 months, <laughs> by which point the statue was visible from seven kilometers away. It wasn't just the statue that was built, by the way. The Mammoth Project, which is 200 kilometers away from the nearest major city in a densely forested rural area, necessitated the building of a four-lane approach road, a food court, and a 52-room three-star hotel. There's also a museum featuring 2,000 photographs and 40,000 documents within 11 days of the unveiling on what would have been Patel's 143rd birthday. Some 128,000 tourists had visited the site, wow. more than the Statue of Liberty managed in the same time frame. The total number of visitors currently stands at around 6 million. The statue is not without its critics. Many argue it's an overpriced boondoggle and the money would have been better spent addressing local poverty. Over its projected 100-year lifespan, That's Patel's always an argument. The mammoth lightness will gradually turn green owing to the composition of its metal. And locals have wasted no time centering festivals around the giant statue, like impressive light shows involving powerful lasers. Nice. Well, what do you expect from Iron Man? What do you think? Is the paneled styling ingenious or kind of an eyesore? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more heavy metal tech content. Dang. That was super informative. Engineering is uh, super impressive to me. <laughs> Because it's <clears throat> obviously it's a something that you have to go to school for because it's incredibly complex and oh stuff my. like that. But it's also an art form. It is like it's a incredibly mathematical art form. Yeah, it I really feel. is. Especially the um, I don't know what type it is, but the one that actually builds stuff, right buildings and and different stuff like that. It's it's a mathematical artwork. I feel. Yeah, I do too. And. Sculptures of all shapes and sizes are my favorite form of visual artistry when you're talking about the fine arts and you have paintings and sculptures. If I'm in a museum, the thing I want to see more than anything are sculptures. You love the Louvre. Oh, they boggle my mind. I wish I could touch them. I marvel at... The marble. At the marble, yes. <laughs> at, at, at steel and marble being made to look soft and fluid yeah, yeah, yeah. and the veins and the arms of people and muscle and facial expression it it's extraordinary there's to a, me a statue i don't know where it is but and i'm sure there's a bunch but there's a man holding a woman's thigh i know it the, yes the and his hand is pressing into the thigh it's, it's i don't know how they do it it's a, absolutely insanity yeah i can i can stand and look at sculptures for inordinate amounts of time and and 
uh, it never ceases to amaze me. So something of this stature with this kind of softness and fluidity. Talk about a beautiful place. It's gorgeous. Um, it's gorgeous. And you always get the, um, if this was in the United States, it'd probably be of, you know, like some Confederate dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> We don't we don't really build statues very much anymore uh, here. It's just because we uh, is I one I don't I I feel like especially in America there's is a different culture around statues for one because we have so many bad ones. <laughs> and I have I have it, one that's my favorite. There's very little that is worthy of um being being celebrated. Yeah, in yeah. that way. There's. Yeah. Very little the, humans on this earth that, in my opinion... I, my favorite is, without question, and there's not even a close second in America, is the Statue of Liberty. No, we didn't even do that. that yeah, because, one, we didn't do that. She was a gift from yeah. the ones who helped us win our independence. Yeah. And what she represents, the city that she's in, and she was the thing that people saw who were coming to America for the first time yeah, that yeah. marked the entryway and what the plaque at her feet represents. So there's not even, there, 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 I can't think of any other statue in America that get, I have any respect for other than the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I don't like, there's a bunch that I think should be taken down. Rushmore is a, an oh, abomination. God. Um, yeah, let's take this beautiful it, mountain and put a bunch of racists on it. Right. On other people's lands. On other people's lands that we had previously promised would be theirs <laughs> when we became a nation. It's, it's, America. makes you want to vomit. Mount so, Rushmore is, so, a, there's a hideous. lot, there's a lot more into it in America because and I, we live on stolen land. And I, I understand people who would say, and they have a point about the amount of money put into that better allocated toward yeah. helping people. However, at the same time, these kinds of things almost always generate long-term profits that wouldn't have been there. And instead of having been invested into a temporal part of contribution, the amount of tourism that you gain and the amount of publicity that you gain has a monetary value that lasts. And it turning green, that's what's happened to the, I mean, that's for anything the size that that's, that's pretty, yeah. I think that's actually a. Yeah. Nice and endearing really, it's quality a, to uh, it's old a, it's statue. It's a marvel of how they did it. It's incredible. That's absolutely insanity. Uh, so much respect for engineers and stuff like that who <laughs> know how sure. to do this. Because I, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you the first step. <laughs> I was like, just like sculpt it and put it up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just build it. I, I can't even make them. I couldn't even help the kids make a model for school. Mm, no, definitely not. Out of matchsticks <laughs> and, and silly putty. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know your thoughts, likes, dislikes, if you hate it, if uh, you love it, and any of those we, we need to know down below. Just.